Let's do it. Let's do talking on camera. That is our new thing. That's your new. <laughs> you can thing. use that. That's Thank fine. You That's very yours. Much. This is the IMDb show presented by our friends at Kellogg's, Kobe Smallers. Hey! Welcome to the show. What's up? I'm very well. Oh my God, there's a live audience all of a sudden. Uh, they have not made then. a sound until the applause. What audience? That's on the sound <laughs> cue. Thank you for dressing up for us. Nice tuxedo. Well, thank you for noticing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's what we're here I am for. not wearing pants, so I hope you don't go past my and belly button. Now this, where do I go really from here? really awkward. But... Here we are. Spider-Man Far From Home is out. Yeah. You have been snapped out of existence, snapped back into existence, and then straight into Spider-Man. What's the time like? What's it, what's it like being Kobe Smulders right now? It's like nonstop work. <laughs> like, when do you chill? I wouldn't say that, but I, I agree with you. I mean, I'm still recovering from the snaps. Yeah. And I think we're all still recovering from these huge movies. Honestly, I'm a bit hungover. I'm not sure if you're real or... I'm the realest person you're ever going to meet. I shot the first Avengers movie. 2012. When I auditioned for it, I didn't even know the character that I was playing. I was just given a scene that Joss Whedon had written, which was like female agent. And my husband, who, who is such a crazy Marvel fan, was like, oh, it's the Wasp, oh, it's the Wasp, it's the Wasp, and... He was making guesses. He was okay. making guesses, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was willing to roll the dice. If only Cap could see you now. Being Maria Hill. For me, it's been such a great role because I get to sort of be a part of it and, 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 and internally watch this evolution, but just kind of be able to pop in and kind of seek these little moments out and get invited to the premieres. Lucky for us, we got the best seats in the house. Who were you excited to meet that you had never met before? I remember meeting Robert for the first time and being very intimidated by that. I would have thought once you meet Samuel L. Jackson, there's no one else you'll be starstruck by, but RDJ, I guess, is such a character. It depends on what you watched when you were younger sure. and growing up. Yeah. And, and certainly like Pulp Fiction was a big one for me. This is a tasty burger. But Robert was like, there were some potentially romantic feelings back in the day watching <laughs> some of his films. For everybody, I think oh, we can wow. all admit that. How kind, really. God, I love the way he said that. It's such a weird thing when you meet people that you had feelings for watching them on screen. Like, I, I understand it, but it's... Believe me, I get it. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? You when I flirt. No, I'm telling you. No, I meant other you guests meant other I've people. had. Yeah, for sure. But... <laughs> I promise a stress free environment, no tension, no surprises. Ow! We can't talk about how Spider-Man Far From Home ends. Why not? Well, we can't, because it'd be spoilers. People get angry. Sure, boring, um, but party pooper. <laughs> you, you wanna? I'm willing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I like my job. But you know, where we can talk about is where it starts. And we know that okay. that's in a world after Tony Stark Yeah, is Sam gone. Stark. That's what kind of this movie is about. Obviously, Tony Stark was like a big part of Peter Parker's life, an idol. And now that he's gone, I feel like it is a moment for this kid to sort of contemplate where he should be in this in this world okay. now. I didn't think I was gonna have to save the world this summer. My role in, in the film is I want him to like get back to work. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. There are responsibilities. You owe the people, like you need to step up. And he just wants to like go f around in Europe. I am going on vacation. Is that what's interesting about playing Maria Hill? You know, you don't have superpowers, but yeah. in some way, or Does do that, I? Well, I no. mean, I don't. I you don't. don't. <laughs> did you ever wish, like, at oh, one I point wish, you get the I mean, the every, every script, I'm like, really? <laughs> does she, does she, no. Okay, all right, I'm on, I'm on the Bluetooth. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. That thing was squeezing my brain. But they gave you a moments. I mean, we got to see they, I got yeah. great moments. Yeah. I'm not ungrateful. I'm very grateful for my moments. What do you think Maria Hill brought to the Avengers since the first time you appeared? I think she's certainly providing, like, information. I always make jokes where it's like, hey, audience, <laughs> this is what's just happened. This is what we need to achieve, and this is what we're hoping to do. Right. Okay, superheroes back in. Is that really a priority right now? Until what? such time as the world ends, we will act as though it intends to spin on. On screen, you and Nick Fury, played by Samuel L. Jackson, and have an amazing chemistry. How did you approach that off screen? Sam is a delightful human being, so it doesn't take much to like get along well with him. When we shot the first Avengers, we were on that ship and it was all glass, and we were talking about an imaginary fight or something. And he was like, or oh, I could just you know, take out my lightsaber, lightsaber and do this thing. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> like a Star Wars reference, that's funny. It. You're so rich. And then 10 minutes later, I went, oh, he was in 
Star Wars. Right. I am going to end this once and for all. Well, you've got an amazing following online. They love you. Uh, oh. So we grabbed a question on Twitter from at Evans underscore best Chris. He or she asks, I still miss hashtag how I met your mother. Is there anything you miss about having Robin in your life? And is there a chance of a reunion? I'll always miss it. It was the best job I think I'll ever have. What do you miss the most about it? Like now you can look back and yeah. you had, what, what's I the miss one thing the people. you miss? I miss our crew and I miss our cast and I miss seeing them every day. But maybe that's it. Maybe there's just too much awesome here. But um, the second part of the question Chance of was, a reunion, oh, I guess. Oh, inquiring I mean, people, minds want to I mean, know. I think it's too soon. We did the show for nine years, which is such an insane accomplishment for our writers, our crew, all the actors. And it, f it felt like enough. Like it felt like we did it and we, we set out to tell this story and we were able to complete it the way that the creators wanted to complete it. But I would have liked to, to, to milk things more, but you know, you, you do what you can do. And, and um, I hope that people now when they watch it, they love they, it. that they, they can appreciate that more. That's done. No more of that. Let's talk Kobe about what you're watching at home. I am really into uh, Fosse Verdon. You are gonna love Bobby. No, I know who he is. He's the one with the hat. There's a, such a, an interesting dynamic between these two characters. Maybe it's not so terrible. No, maybe not. What's something else? Killing Eve, I'm really obsessed with. There are concerns about your state of mind. Okay. I love that it's a show about two female leads. I love that it's an interesting, dark love story between funny. these two and funny. Weirdly. I'm not here to entertain you. I have a lot of work to do. I'm not wearing a bra and frankly, I just want to go home. What else are you looking forward to? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's official, old buddy. And it has been. I don't get to the theater very often because they have children. You can't but blame your kids for everything. Yes, you, you can. can, that's why I have them. <laughs> Embarrass yourself like that in front of all those goddamn people. I don't know much about it, quite honestly. I mean, it's got Leo and Brad. That your son? No, that's my stunt double, Cliff Booth. I'm interested in like old Hollywood and, and, and it looks beautiful. I love that stuff, you know, with the killing. A lot of killing. Because it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for having me. By. Congrats Thank you for having on me. everything. Thank you. You're going to want to check out Kobe and Spider Man Far From Home in theaters right now. Big thanks to our friends at Kellogg's. And for more interviews with the stars of all the movies you want to see this summer, go to imdb.com/slash show.